If you want to learn a lot more about technology in diesels, we've got it coming from variable turbochargers to high pressure fuel injection systems. We're going to give you a diesel one-on-one -on -one and show you a little bit about the history of diesel engines. All that and more on Motorhead Garage. Hey, welcome to another big rig edition of Motorhead Garage. We're here in the heartland of the diesel world here in Columbus, Indiana at Cummins Engines. You know, when they build these engines, they do a lot of research, development, engineering, and testing on the assembly line, but then they move them to the trucks. Take a look at this big truck right here. It's got a big Cummins engine in it. Look at all this data acquisition, all these extra wires on it. Oh, they do a lot of research engin engineering in order to make these engines work and to bring them up to spec so they work real well. But the key thing is, is to find out a lot more about the history of diesel engines. Let's go over here and check it out. All right, now here we're stepping right into some of the history of diesel engines, and I have Zach Ellison here from Cummins who can give us a little bit of background on Cummins engines. Cummins uh, started in the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. It's a compression ignition engine, has very high compression ratios, 19 to 22 or 23 to 1 compression ratios. The, the hot air from compression, the fuel gets injected on it, bang, you got the power. There you go. That's a pretty simple way to fire it, really. So who, how did this get started? Who started this? This started by Clefsey Cummins. He, mm -hmm. he paid royalties to Rudolf Diesel in Germany, oh and then he started building engines in the United States in 1919. This display shows you the, the improvement mm -hmm. in power over the last 60 years. This is a 1924 piston out of a 70 horsepower engine, Wow! seven compression rings on it. And then you look at this piston from 1984, and it's 74 horsepower, four-cylinder engine. Talk about a leap in technology. You can see it right here, folks. This is, this is incredible. And I know that Cummins had engines like at Indianapolis in the 500 back in the, what, the 20s or 30s? In the 1930s. In the 50s, too. Yes. Why did they do that? What, what was the point? Clessy Cummins used the Indy 500 as his test bed mm -hmm. to test new technology. He ran four-cycle engines, and he ran two-cycle engines to see which one looked best. He made the decision early on in the early 30s to go with four cycle engines. I'd be darned. Well, I can tell you this thing. I've seen the technology move from here, but you guys are always working on new technology. What's Sam playing with over there? Let's Check him look. out. I'm playing with this big gold injector. I know this is heavy duty big truck stuff, but from what era is this from? Sam, that came from the World War II era. It's mm -hmm. about 160 horsepower, about 6,000 PSI injection pressure. Okay, so you got fuel in and out and a rock around, push this and open the plunger. That's right. And that was pretty mechanical, and that's pretty, pretty much the way they did it until now. Now, this is a new electronic injector. What's this out of? This injector comes out of our 600 horsepower ISX-15 engine. Mm -hmm. It has injection pressures of 32,000 PSI, and it can do multiple pulses of fueling through one power stroke. So that keeps it nice and quiet, keeps it clean. 32,000 pounds per square inch, that cuts you in half. That is, that's really pressure. Now, looking at these big pistons here, this one here is heavy. And this is out of, I think you told me a 60 liter? That's a 60 liter uh, piston. Mm -hmm. It goes in mine trucks and stationary generator sets, uh, 3,000 to 3,500 horsepower. And it's cast steel. Yes, it is. How fast do those engines turn? They run about 2,100 RPMs. That's a lot of speed for that big slug. Yes, it is. Now, here's another steel piston, but this is a forging. This is a forged piston. It comes out of our uh, semi-truck engine, the ISX-15, mm -hmm. uh, 600 horsepower again. Cool. Now, I recognize this. If you've got a Dodge Ram pickup truck with a Cummins in it, this is the piston out of that. That came right out of our factory in Walesboro. Yes, it is. It's a cast aluminum piston mm -hmm. with a nickel top ring carrier. That's what this piece right in here? That handles the pressures and the temperatures of combustion. Now, you're using cast aluminum. Why aren't you using a forging in a, in a high-pressure diesel? Well, in a high-pressure diesel, we want to be able to carry the loads and the cylinder pressures in the top ring, so mm -hmm. we have to cast in a nickel insert for that top ring. Uh-huh. Okay, and of course this design of the bowl here, that helps with the combustion and so on. Let's take a look at the fuel system in this thing. This is quite a little display on this fuel system you got. Boy, it is. This is extreme pressure injection system. Mm -hmm. Common rail system is what they refer to it. We have our high pressure pump with ceramic pumping plungers, 
pumps the fuel pressure up to 32,000 psi. God, that's a bunch. Then this rail, this common rail, diesel fuel's inside. It's about three quarters of an inch thick wall thickness mm -hmm. to hold the pressure, and that builds up to 32,000 psi. And then it injects fuel uh, when the uh, control module tells it to inject. Well, if you got this, obviously real thick to uh, control the pressure. What about these steel lines? These steel lines have to be extremely thick. So you can see the wall thickness on this one that's cut away. Okay, so you got common, common rail because the pressure's common to every injector at the same time, and it's not speed dependent like an old poppet pump, is it? It has the same pressure at idle as it has at 2100 RPM. So you keep, you maintain that pressure all the way through this whole system then? That's right. Oh, wow. And you got a cutaway injector here, so you got the injector, can, again, multiple strikes in one stroke, and of course you can really control the fuel that way. That's right. Unbelievable. That's a lot of speed in that thing, and folks, speaking of speed, Take a look at this right here. This is what I like. This is their latest in turbochargers. This is called, called the Variable Geometry Turbocharger. We're going to show you all about this right after the break. Stick around. Clean, efficient, dependable, and durable. Cummins engines are found in nearly every type of vehicle and equipment on Earth, from emergency vehicles to 18-wheelers, Ram heavy-duty pickups to 300-ton mining haul trucks. You'll also find us in marine applications and supplying power generation to locations across the globe. And every Cummins engine is backed by our highly capable and extensive support network with over 5,500 locations worldwide, every hour and every minute of every day. Cummins, dependable every engine. 